Mepkori, mm -hmm. uh, this is a continuation of uh, of what we have seen in the previous video where we saw uh, the, the process of uh, digitizing, of georefracing an image. Yeah? So now we are going to see how to mm -hmm. digitize uh, different layers in that image. So to do that, uh, you have to know the names of your layers first. Yeah? For example, we know this is was Mica schist. So I'll go and say create a new table, file, new table, and I'll say add to the current mapper because I want to digitize and see the table on, on the mapper. And then I'll say create. I'll choose the projection and it is um, Universal Transverse Makata Arc 1960. And uh, I'll choose the category members, which is Zone 37 South, and click OK. And I'll give <coughs> the name of the field uh, of the table that I'm about to create. And uh, uh, the field name, I'll call it Lithology. And then I'll say Create. Uh, where do I want to save it? I'll save it in Students, and I'll call it Quartz Mica Schist. Uh, let me say two, so because we already have another one which was uh, uh, was digitized using the same name. Now for saves, save that is the first step. So you see what has happened is that there is a, a layer which has been put here, but it doesn't have anything. Eh? Um, I can open that table and see what happened. What I what I created. You see, it has only one field which is lithology uh, just to close out of this one and uh, what you do you come when you come here you say uh, region style you want to uh, to select the style that you 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 want to use in your uh, polygon that you are you are you want to digit to digitize therefore for me I'll say uh, just let it uh, the pattern I'll leave it filled and I'll come with foreground because you have used the yellow in your map I'll also use yellow and uh, if you say pale yellow I'll use pale yellow and uh, I won't put any boundary it's a preference uh, for me I normally uh, like to uh, digitize without using any boundaries then I'll click OK and uh, I'll start digitizing by selecting the polygon here you see when you want to change the styles uh, the region style you come here but when you want to start digitizing you come and select the polygon therefore I'll select the polygon and uh, mm -hmm. I'll start from here you see you click and you release your uh, just follow I'll follow the polygon You want to be zooming in so that you become more accurate. You see, I've zoomed in, and you can see that I'm not that accurate because I didn't zoom in. So if you zoom in, you become more accurate. And uh, I'll come, uh, if you double click, that means you've finished digitizing your, your polygon. Uh, but I still have here some quads mica sheets, therefore I'll come and uh, continue digitizing this one uh, because I already changed the style I'll just go straight and pick a polygon and then uh, you can zoom in by scrolling um, this ball here on your mouse it will zoom in and the you will keep digitizing. Is a light and easy. Come here this way.
finished. So I've finished with the first layer. Um, now I want to georeference. Let's say, um, what is this? Uh, let me georeference, uh, for example, a marble. Uh, I'll because it's a different layer, I'll just come again to file and then new table and uh, put it on the current mapper. The cell lithology. I'll choose a projection. It has already been chosen. And then I'll create and save this marble. I'll say marble 2. And then save. Okay see there's another layer which has been added you can turn on this layer and off on and off you see I've turned uh, see it's on and off uh, now let me uh, digitize marble this is marble and this one okay I'll first change the style and uh, I see you have used blue light blue that one and then you click OK and um, I'll come here and start digitizing this one. You have to remember where you started your uh, your digitization. Uh, and then I'll come to another marble which is this one. And uh, what do you reference? I'll digitize it. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please share it, comment, and don't miss my next video. Uh, Thank you.